Britney Spears has just announced that she will be personally addressing an LA courtroom in June for a hearing regarding her conservatorship. Just last year, Britney's lawyer had filed to have her father, Jamie Spears, removed as a conservator of her estate. Now a judge has agreed though to let Britney herself speak directly to the court. According to Insider.com, a judge is going to let Britney speak directly to the courtroom about her conservatorship. Britney has been under this conservatorship since 2008 and would rarely take part in any of the court hearings, which definitely makes this a monumental moment for the star. Previously, she had not even commented publicly on the legal arrangement where a court appointed advisor would control her personal and financial affairs, which also included her medical treatment, security, and overall career. Following a breakdown that she had, her father Jamie was appointed as her guardian because Brittany had to be taken to the hospital after that incident. Brittany's lawyer Samuel Ingham told the courts on Tuesday, My client has requested a hearing at which she can address the court directly. My client has asked that it be done on an expedited basis. In addition to her father being in charge of her estate, some of her personal assets were also under the control of attorney Andrew Wallet. However, in 2019, Andrew resigned as a co-conservator, putting Jamie Jamie in charge of everything. Fast forward to August of 2020 and Britney's lawyer had filed to have Jamie Spears removed as the conservator of her $59 million estate. After that didn't go through, in November of 2020, the judge then appointed Bessemer Trust to serve as a co-conservator with Jamie Spears, which to me sounds like even the judge doesn't really think that Jamie should be in total control of Britney's estate. Now just last month, Britney's lawyer did try to argue that her father should be permanently replaced with Jody Montgomery as the new co-conservator. But all of this conservatorship talk truly has fans exhausted and beginning to believe that Britney is being controlled controlled and manipulated in some way. Which is why we saw the rise of this Free Britney movement that some would argue it actually led to the New York Times documentary titled Framing Britney Spears. Had it not been for her own fans caring about her well-being, who knows if the New York Times would have even covered this in such a way. Now oddly enough, Jamie's attorney Vivian Thoreen told CNN that Jamie also wants this conservatorship to end. In her statement, Vivian said, Jamie would love nothing more than to see Britney not need a conservatorship. Whether or not there is an end to the conservatorship really depends on Britney. If she wants to end her conservatorship, she can file a petition to end it. Which is complete and total gaslighting. You can't deny her every time she has filed for this to end and then be like, oh, if she wants it to end, then all she has to do is file to end it. That'd be like if the Oscars suddenly told the viewers that they got the vote on who the winner was and then they were like, yeah, we're just gonna pick who we want regardless. We are hoping that this in-person court date that has been set for June 23rd really gives the judge a chance to see Britney in front of him instead of, let's just say, judging off of progress reports from her father or other co-conservators. Britney has not performed publicly since October of 2018, but she still frequently post photos and videos of herself at her home in LA. In 2019, she had to pull out of a Las Vegas concert residency to briefly enter a mental health facility. So for her to now be making a public appearance means she must be doing much better now. A supporter of Britney Spears who was outside of the courthouse on Tuesday begging for her to be set free told reporters, this is the first time in 13 years we're getting any sort of word from Britney about her conservatorship and it's the biggest deal to me. My life is free Britney and it just changed. After I've lied and told the whole world I'm okay and I'm happy, it's a lie. I thought I just maybe I said that enough. Maybe I might become happy because I've been in denial. I've been in shock. I am traumatized. Late last night, the audio recording from the latest conservatorship hearing for Britney Spears was released and quite honestly, she has never sounded more like herself. During the hearing, Britney detailed and exposed everyone who took part in this unnecessary control over her and she made some very good points as to why it should end with no further evaluations. I just want my life back and it's been 13 years and it's enough. It's been a long time since I've owned my money, and it's my wish and my dream for all of this to end without being tested. Yesterday, Britney Spears appeared in court remotely to speak out against her conservatorship that has truly taken over her life and estate. In this hearing, Britney had time to cover a lot of things, from her therapy sessions to her strained relationship with her father, and it all felt so surreal to finally hear Britney speak openly about what's truly been going on. While on the call, Spears pleaded with LA Judge Brenda Penny to help her end this conservatorship that was originally granted in 2008 and over the years has continued to be extended. If you'd like to read the entire transcript, we will actually be sure to put that down in the description below. But for today, let's cover some of the key highlights from the hearings to bring you up to speed. The first big thing that really hit home for me at least was Brittany comparing her situation to being sex trafficked. Her family had created a custom rehab program for her at a small home in Beverly Hills. According to Spears, all of her possessions including her credit card, phone, and passport were all taken away. What's worse is that while at this rehab program, they took the door off of her room. During her stay, she said that staff and nurses would constantly watch her even while she was changing. She goes on to say, I packed my bags and went to that place. I work seven days a week, no days off, which in California, the only similar thing to this is called sex trafficking, making anyone work against their will. Another mind-blowing moment was when Brittany accused her father of actually enjoying having this control over her. She said that he listened to her cry on the phone for an hour and loved every moment, adding, The control he had over someone as powerful as me, he loved the control to hurt his own daughter 100,000%. After refusing to do a string of shows in Las Vegas, her family began calling Brittany's therapist and telling lies about how she wasn't taking her 
her medication and that she was refusing to cooperate in rehearsals. Three days after saying no to more Vegas shows, her therapist sat her down in a room and said that he had a million phone calls about her behavior. He then immediately put her on lithium out of nowhere. She describes the effects and lack of control saying, he put me on that and I felt drunk. I couldn't even have a conversation with my mom or dad really about anything. Not to mention her family had also set her up to be exposed to the paparazzi even when they were sending her to get help. She had requested that a therapist come to her home because it would be more private, but they insisted on sending her to a place in Westlake where the paparazzi could just sit outside and snap photos of her crying as she left. She then proceeds to tell the judge that she is petitioning for the conservatorship to end without any evaluation. In the call she is quoted as saying, They only gave me two options for therapists, and I'm not sure how you make your decisions ma'am, but this is the only chance for me to talk to you for a while. I need your help, so if you can just kind of let me know where your head is. I don't really honestly know what to say, but my requests are just to end the conservatorship without being evaluated. I want to petition basically to end the conservatorship, but I don't want to be evaluated and be sat in a room with people four hours a day like they did me before. And they made it even worse for me after that happened. In addition to ending the conservatorship, Brittany also mentioned that she was most likely going to be suing her family as well. She said that they had benefited from her silence and lived off of her conservatorship for far too long. Her family would be allowed to do these interviews where they could talk so openly about her situation, but when Brittany wanted to speak up, she was told by her own people that she couldn't. You really heard this need for her to speak up in her voice as well, and especially when she told the judge that she didn't want this call to end because she knows the moment that it's over, it's back to being told no all of the time. Brittany also really exposed how terribly set up the conservatorships are, and this statement may actually lead to the law changing. In her hearing, Brittany spoke further about how corrupt the conservatorships can become. She's quoted as saying, The conservatorship from the beginning, once you see someone, whoever it is, in the conservatorship making money, making them money, and myself money, and working, that whole statement right there, the conservatorship should end. I shouldn't be in a conservatorship if I can work and provide money and work for myself and pay other people. It makes no sense. The laws need to change. What state allows people to own another person's money and account and threaten them and saying, you can't spend your money unless you do what we want you to do, and I'm paying them. Which is so true, and the real reason Brittany didn't speak up about this before is because she thought that no one would believe her. She said that people would make fun of her or laugh and say she's lying, she's got everything, she's Britney Spears, which is also the perfect cover for the people who want to control Britney Spears. She adds, I've been so angry and I cry every day. It concerns me. I'm told I'm not allowed to expose the people who did this to me. In her final closing statements, Brittany mainly spoke about wanting to move forward and actually be able to get married and have a baby. Because believe it or not, but that was controlled as well. She actually described having an IUD birth control device in her body that her management refused to let her remove. Even though she insisted that she wanted to try and have another baby. In closing, she said to the court, I deserve to have a life. I've worked my whole life. I deserve to have a two to three year break and just, you know, do what I want want to do. On 53 a.m. Hi, this is Brittany Spears. It's 70 to 82. Um, I was just saying I want to have this conservatorship. I've been blacking up by visitation of my baby's best conservatorship. I'm confined, restrained, and stripped of my civil rights, and I demand the state of California to review this case because I feel it's illegal. Britney's controversial former manager has just released an old voicemail message from the star proving that she has been fighting to end this conservatorship for more than a decade. Now before I get into all the details of this story, I just want to read out exactly what Britney said on that voicemail because the audio is a little bad and if you're hard of hearing like myself, then I'm sure you were a bit confused. On the voicemail, Britney said, Hi, this is Britney Spears. It's Sunday the 18th. Just so you know, I want out of this conservatorship. I've been blackmailed by visitation with my babies by the conservatorship. I'm confined, restrained, and stripped of my civil rights and I demand the state of California to review this case because I feel it's illegal. Bye. Many people on Twitter though began criticizing San Lupfi for holding on to these audio files until now. However, according to an interview that he did with Page Six, Sam claims to have actually leaked these voicemails in the past, but because everyone is hyper aware of Britney's situation now, his recent post has gained a lot of traction. Lupfi, who claimed to have managed Spears from 2007 to 2008, was previously blamed by Britney's family for her 2007 breakdown. The first clip that we played for you is just one of three that Sam has posted in hopes of exposing all of the lies that the family is trying to tell right now. In the second clip, which featured an old photo of Britney with both of her kids, she says, Hi, my name is Britney Spears. I called you earlier. I'm calling again because I just wanted to make sure that during the process of eliminating my conservatorship, that my father has threatened me several times, that you know he'll take my children away. I just want to be guaranteed that everything will be fine with the process and that you guys are taking care of everything, that things will stay the same as far as my custodial time. That's it. Bye. Sam then adds a comment to this one that says, months later, still nothing. Then in the third clip that Sam Lefty says was likely recorded in 2009 as well, Brittany can be heard clearly requesting to be represented by new counsel. 
She says in the recording, Hi, this is Britney Spears. I want John Erdley and John Patterson to represent me as a court appointed attorney in my best interest and best wishes. Okay, bye. Sam then goes on to add a year later, 2009, maybe still nothing. Ingham claimed all these were fake and her folks verified that they were not her. All left on my phone every year. What a world we live in. Those babies can drive now and still nothing has changed. Although it wasn't until recently that Britney finally was able to obtain a new attorney. And Matthew Rosengart has been able to do so much in just a short amount of time, which really makes you think about what her life could have been had the people she was calling for help just listened to her. All this last clip does is show how long she has been fighting to remove her court appointed attorney Samuel Ingham. Back in May of 2008, a California court had denied John Erdley's bid to challenge Jamie as the conservator of Britney's estate, despite her pleading with them to let him be in charge. It's also important to note here though that Britney was granted a restraining order against Sam Letfi in February of 2008, apparently on the same day that her conservatorship began. Which, I don't know about you, but that seems a little sus, because if her father was in charge of her affairs at the time, of course he didn't want Sam nosing around and leaking voicemails like we just heard. The worst part is that during this time, the media was branding Britney as being crazy, yet in the clip she is clearly of sound mind and body, pleading that she wanted Early to represent her. Sam goes on to say in another caption, This was one of the first ones. The transcript is in the post. Every attorney received a copy. The beginning of the messages were all time and phone number stamped. They all knew these were real. and legit every judge threw these out. Wouldn't even call her into chambers to ask if these were real or not. Zilch, zero, nothing. There was never anyone on the inside that would help. These calls are to my phone. These calls cost me a ton of money in court, tarnished my name further, but also tore my soul apart. I had no idea where to turn. No one was listening. No one seemed to care. I can't believe nothing has changed. She will never get those years back. Her children were robbed of a huge chunk of history with their mother. Hill Street. Thankfully, since June, Britney has been able to publicly voice the exact same concerns that she had way back then, even getting the chance to detail the pain and torture that she was put through over the following 13 years in this conservatorship. In two separate hearings, Britney slammed her conservators for mistreating her as she requested yet again for this all to end at once. Her new attorney, Matthew Rosengard, said that he will be fighting to fulfill his client's wishes at the next court date set for September 29th. In addition to that, Sam Luffy has said that he has notified Matthew that he is available for whatever he may need, although that may be a tad bit difficult considering the fact that in June of 2019, Luffy was slapped with another restraining order that prevents him from having any contact with Britney or her family for five years. So as many of you may know, we have been covering the Britney Spears conservatorship situation after that bombshell audio recording dropped from her most recent testimony. She laid out how for over a decade her own family took advantage of her and kept her trapped, plus denied her the right to even have another child. Unfortunately now it looks like Jamie Spears is going to stay as the conservator of her estate. A judge on Wednesday decided to deny Britney's request to remove her father as the conservator of her estate. The LA Superior Court ruled that Britney's request to suspend her father as the sole conservator of her estate was denied without prejudice. Britney Spears is 39 years old right now and has been under this conservatorship involving her father for over a decade. In her testimony, Britney delivered a powerful 24-minute statement where she clearly outlined what her father had been putting her through. But according to the judge, they could not make a ruling based on what she said because apparently Britney still needs to file a petition to terminate her conservatorship. At this point, it just feels like they keep making more and more excuses. They assign this paperwork, you gotta file this thing. But I digress. According to the court documents, the judge said, The conservators request to suspend James P. Spears immediately upon the appointment of Besimir Trust Company of California as sole conservator of a state is denied without prejudice. And this new court filing is a big setback for Britney, and unfortunately, this denial from a judge is nothing really new for her. Samuel Ingham had filed the request to remove Jamie Spears from the conservatorship back in November of 2020. He stated that his client was afraid of her father and would refuse to ever perform again if he continued to be in control of her life and career. Judge Brenda Penny declined to suspend her father from the conservatorship back then, and in addition to not doing anything, she also appointed the financial company of Vesemir Trust as a co-conservator. According to reports, this most recent decision was simply intended for the judge to approve Besimir Trust as that co-conservator, but also to actually like reiterate their stance on keeping Jamie Spears in charge of his daughter's life. That being said, I do think that because we all really got to hear her speak, and I mean really speak about what has been going on in this conservatorship, that has to put a lot of pressure on the people controlling her. I mean, Britney even said in that recording how her father loved controlling her life and stated that she believed her conservators included 
including her own father, should all be in jail. Even adding on to that saying that she intended on suing her family. I mean, all of them, as a whole. This conservatorship case has garnered global attention at this point, and with this denial from the judge after what we heard, there is no way people are going to let this go. In the court filings for the denial, the court found Spears to be substantially unable to manage his or her financial resources or to resist fraud or undue influence. I mean, the hypocrisy. You should not be able to make money off of someone in a conservatorship. That's called slavery. Her father has been her conservator since 2008. I was in grade 11 in 2008. My life has changed drastically in that amount of time because I had the freedom to choose my own path in life. Think about all of the different ways your life has gone since 2008. Now imagine that in that same time, Britney Spears was being taken from therapy session to therapy session, given various amounts of pharmaceutical drugs to calm her down, forced her to do shows with no breaks in between, plan her own choreography, write her own songs, perform them again, pay for the equipment, the buses, the plane tickets, burns out and then refuses to work, so they give her lithium, wants to have a baby, they don't let her go to the doctor to get the IUD taken out. I'm sure she's even thought about running away from them at some point, you know, from 2008 to 2021, but her efforts would be futile. She's got no ID, no passport, a phone that's probably under supervision. It just makes you sad, and the worst part was that you know that 24 minute audio is only a blip in the amount of time. There's no way that you can cram 13 years of trauma into 24 minutes. Like someone just needs to get like a podcast with her or something, and it could be 13 seasons long, and every episode would be five hours a piece. I mean, this lady has been through it. And you can hear that in the way that she spoke. She would speed up at points where you know that she was just dying to get all that info out, and so then she would have to like pull back weirdly just so that they can continue writing it down. Now, not to bring the mood down any further, but also on Wednesday, her father's attorney filed paperwork on his behalf, pointing the finger at Jody Montgomery, who was simply Britney's court-appointed counsel. The attorney for Mr. Spears said, Mr. Spears is concerned about the management and care of his daughter. Based on her statements to the court, Mr. Spears is concerned that the petition to appoint Jody Montgomery, filed by Ms. Spears court appointing counsel Samuel D. Ingham III, does not reflect her wishes. Ms. Spears told the court on June 23rd that she is opposed to being under a conservatorship and revealed her ongoing disputes with Ms. Montgomery about her medical treatment and other personal care issues. Now, Montgomery, of course, vehemently denied Jamie's stance and fought back, saying that she is a tireless advocate for Britney and for her well being. All of that said, the only thing that is clear in, in all of this is that Britney wants this conservatorship to end without any further evaluation. In her last plea to the judge, Brittany said, I just want my life back and it's been 13 years and it's enough. It's been a long time since I've owned my money, and it's my wish and my dream for all of this to end without being tested. Yes, it is definitely a time of celebration knowing that Jamie Spears will be stepping down as Britney's conservator, but there is still a long road ahead before she's actually free. Just because he's stepping down doesn't mean it's happening right away, and it doesn't mean that Britney is no longer in a conservatorship. In a wild turn of events late last night, Jamie Spears filed legal papers that appear to be complying with the demands that Britney had set during her last court hearing. In the filing, he said, There are, in fact, no actual grounds for suspending or removing Mr. Spears as the conservator of the estate under probate code section 2650, and it is highly debatable whether a change in conservator at this time would be in Ms. Spears' best interest. The documents also cited that due to the highly publicized nature of this court battle, this is cause for him to step down. So in reality, he is just paying lip service to the Free Britney movement so that they leave him alone. As I said, this is a good step, but it's certainly not the end. The document goes on to say, Nevertheless, even as Mr. Spears is the unremitting target of unjustified attacks, he does not believe that a public battle with his daughter over his continuing service as her conservator would be in her best interest. So even though he must contest this unjustified petition for his removal, Mr. Spears intends to work with the court and his daughter's new attorney to prepare for an orderly transition to a new conservator. Keyword, new conservator. No, 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 no. we want no conservator. Brittany had claimed that this entire conservatorship arrangement had been terrible for her and even went as far as saying that her own father should be in jail. So you tell me why a conservator is still required for a woman that is happy and healthy all on her own. This would never happened to a male celebrity. Charlie Sheen was literally on national television saying that he had tiger blood and he was going on like fueled rants, but we didn't see Martin Sheen coming in saying, oh, we gotta lock my son up for his mental health. No, because in a free society, you were allowed to make your own mistakes and learn from those mistakes. Britney had no choice but to give up her individuality because what? 
she was going through a hard time in her life 13 years ago? The logic for keeping this going for so long is absolutely baffling. There is a reason why they tried to keep this a secret for so long. Because look what happens when the conservatee is allowed to speak up, the house of cards just comes crashing down. Britney's lawyer seems happy with the progress, but thankfully he is not letting up on Jamie. Just because he's stepped down, it doesn't mean that he can be absolved from what he's done. Matthew Rosengart goes on to say, We are pleased that Mr. Spears and his lawyer have today conceded in a filing that he must be removed. It is vindication for Britney. We are disappointed, however, by their ongoing shameful and reprehensible attacks on Ms. Spears and others. We look forward to continuing our vigorous investigation into the conduct of Mr. Spears and others over the past 13 years while he reaped millions of dollars from his daughter's estate, and I look forward to taking Mr. Spears' sworn deposition in the near future. Adding, in the interim, rather than making false accusations and taking cheap shots at his own daughter, Mr. Spears should remain silent and step aside immediately. Now, to make things even more confusing, there are a number of reports that are also questioning the validity of Jamie Spears stepping down. People Magazine reported that Jamie had not given up control over Britney's $60 million estate. Plus, his lawyer slammed Jamie's ex wife, Lynn, who had previously filed a petition urging the court to allow her daughter to hire her own lawyer and claim that Britney has a fear and hatred of Jamie. In response, Jamie's lawyer said, Instead of criticizing Mr. Spears, Lynn should be thanking him for ensuring Ms. Spears' well-being and for persevering through the years-long tenure, requiring his 365, 24-7 attention, long days and sometimes late nights to deal with the day-to-day -day and emergency issues, all to protect Ms. Spears and those around her charged with protecting his daughter. Lynn has had only limited involvement in Ms. Spears' life these last 13 years. She has not had a parental role in her life for decades. A lawyer for Lynn Spears also responded for comment and said, Lynn Spears is pleased Jamie has agreed to step down. Lynn entered into the this conservatorship to protect her daughter almost three years ago, she has accomplished what she is set up to do. She will have no further comment. Now, all of this does mean that Britney's voice is finally being heard, and I genuinely believe that there are people who are looking out for her best interest now. But just a day before the request for removal was filed, Jamie Spears claimed that Britney's personal conservator, Jody Montgomery, had expressed concern on a July phone call about Britney's mental health. The court documents state During our call, Miss Montgomery sounded very distraught and expressed how concerned she was about my daughter's recent behavior and overall mental health. Health. Ms. Montgomery explained that my daughter was not timely or properly taking her medications, was not listening to the recommendations of her medical team, and refused to even see some of her doctors. Oh, you mean she's acting like a free human being? You'd think that the people who are all about you know, national pride in America would be using Britney as a big example of what censorship and free speech stifling looks like. All of these people are talking on her behalf and claiming that they know what's best for her, but are they ever going to just trust Britney? Like maybe she knows what's best for herself? Crazy thought, I know. What's absolutely twisted as well though is he actually said that he and Montgomery agreed that many of his daughter's statements during the last meetings were not true and attributed her statements to the fact that she is mentally sick. Jamie Spears added to the filing, speaking about Montgomery here, she raised potential options including a 5150 psychiatric hold. However, in response to that, Montgomery's attorney issued a statement countering this claim. Lorianne Wright said that Montgomery denied Mr. Spears' assertion and at no time did she express to Mr. Spears that Brittany would qualify for such a hold. This claim by Jamie is just a last ditch effort to keep some of his control. If Britney has the presence of mind to perform at a Las Vegas residency and do all of the work necessary for that, plus continue to earn her own money steadily, for which millions of that money went into Jamie's pocket, then his argument is absolutely not valid. Britney Spears is finally free from her father, Jamie, after a judge ruled to suspend her father from her conservatorship, along with setting a court date to decide on the fate of the conservatorship in general. The conservatorship that has controlled the life of Britney Spears for 13 years now looks to be nearing the end after a judge suspended her father from control over her life. Britney responded to the news saying she was quote on cloud nine right now. Los Angeles Superior Court Judge Brenda Penny removed Jamie Spears from oversight of his daughter's $60 million estate and set a November date to discuss whether to terminate the entire arrangement, which has been Britney's goal from the start. Britney shared an Instagram post after the ruling of her flying a plane over a tropical destination, clearly enjoying her freedom. Jamie Spears responded to this news via a statement from his lawyer. In the statement, he claimed he had always tried to do what was best for his daughter, adding, quote, These facts make the outcome of yesterday's hearing all the more disappointing and frankly a loss for Britney. Respectfully, the court was wrong to suspend Mr. Spears, put a stranger in his place to manage Britney's estate, and extend the very conservatorship that Britney begged the court to terminate earlier this summer. This news comes just 
days after Britney slammed all the recent documentaries that have been made about her life and conservatorship. As we already know, Britney has been battling a conservatorship controlled by her father Jamie for the last 13 years, and she's finally on the verge of freedom. One of the biggest things that shed light on the Free Britney movement was the explosive documentary that examined her life in conservatorship called Framing Britney Spears. And since that documentary got so much traction, other media companies have now gotten on board and produced their own documentaries about the situation. The most recent one just premiered on Netflix called Britney vs Spears. But other programs about the situation are FX and Hulu series titled Controlling Britney Spears, CNN's documentary titled Toxic Britney Spears' Battle for Freedom, along with the now favorite one by the New York Times, Framing Britney Spears. A few days ago, Britney posted a video to her Instagram with a long caption condemning the recent documentaries that have been made about her. She said in part, quote, I watched a little bit of the last documentary and I must say I scratched my head a couple of times. I really try to dissociate myself from the drama. Number one, that's the past. Number two, can the dialogue get any classier? Number three, wow, they used the most beautiful footage of me in the world. What can I say? The effort on their part. Although by the emojis that Britney was using in the caption, we can assume she was being sarcastic. She then went on to discuss an organization that she's been working with called The Rose Project and added that her fans should wear white for new beginnings. So clearly she is not on board with all these documentaries and doesn't agree with everything that they're showing. Many fans in the comments assume that it wasn't Britney herself that was doing the posting and that Britney does not really feel this way about the documentaries. One comment on the post read, quote, Are we really supposed to believe this is Britney? We already know she has her phone monitored and more conservative secrets are surfacing. But it seems that Britney's negative comments about the documentaries are her true thoughts, because her fiance Sam Asghari posted a statement confirming these thoughts on his Instagram. He wrote in part, quote, Past docs left a bad aftertaste. I'm hoping this one will be respectful. Sam also questioned documentary producers on what made them want to shed light without input or approval from Britney herself. In the comments of another post, Sam also questioned where the profits of all these films are going, and why nothing was going to the subject of the documentaries, aka Britney herself. 